Hello. See this mower and how it won't start? Let me show you. Okay, first, push down on the brake. Let's put the throttle all the way up. Now, as I turn the key, you'll notice the battery is dead. So, I'm going to show you how to jump start it with a portable jump starter. Now, it's about time to replace the battery, but I'm going to show you how to do this. See this portable jump starter? This is my old anchor. I also have a shoemaker, which you can use as well, but I prefer this one for the lawnmower. Just plug this into this input right here. Once plugged in, you'll see the red light, and the instructions are right here. You press for one second and wait until it turns green to start. Now remember to plug the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. This is the, this is the negative, the minus, that's the positive, the plus. So, now that we have it plugged up, let's lower the seat so it's on the springs. Now, hold that button in on the right hand side. Hold it in until it blinks. Now it's green. Now try to start it. If it doesn't work right away, turn it off and try it again. The light's blinking. So let's try it again. Maybe even move it around a bit. Now I moved it to a different spot. Now let's push in on the button, wait for it to turn green, and try again. I'm going to keep trying until it gets this. Sometimes you have to adjust the movement, adjust the position. Well, the other one seems to have almost died and not done too well, so I'm going to try the Shoemaker jump starter since the other one is a bit aged. All right, so the Shoemaker is at 59%, so let's press the button and see what happens. lawnmower using a portable jump starter.